Today we're talking about what is likely the best record cleaning brush ever made. I'll tell you more coming up right after this. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays on channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. Recently, channel 33 RPM viewer Chris Carlson reached out to me and he asked me if I wanted his parents' old disc washer record cleaning brush. He said it was in immaculate condition. Now, I love the disc washer, so I jumped at the opportunity. a disc washer I still do it's right here my dad bought this in the 80s and we used this as a family and I personally used it up until about five years ago when my dog who was a puppy sunk his teeth into this thing you can see his teeth marks still here on the walnut handle and he started chewing up the um, the brush part of this the fabric so I got it out of his um, mouth before it could get any worse but nonetheless the damage had been done so since that time I've been using the groove washer record cleaning brush it's a bit of an homage to the disc washer it looks very very similar and again it works really really well and I highly recommend it but it's just not quite the same as the original disc washer the original disc washer was almost a standard issue accessory for record collectors in the 1970s and the 1980s. It was cheap, well made, and it worked. There were various incarnations or series over the years. Each of them was subtly different. The later version, for example, had a finer fabric, though I'm not going to go on and pretend to be an expert in the differences between the various models. The key to these, however, is the directional fabric. The fibers all point in one direction. Now the brush rocked, but the disc washer system also came with some proprietary record cleaning solution. Early versions of the fluid contained an antimicrobe or fungicide called sodium azide. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And unfortunately, it was highly toxic. However, it did kill microorganisms on records, but that antimicrobe was removed eventually because of the whole highly toxic thing. People online claim to have cracked the formula for that original disc washer record cleaning solution based on research that people have done looking at the old patent documents and that sort of stuff. I will leave a link to one of those articles below this video. Unfortunately, the company that owned the disc washer brand, the good version of it, went bankrupt in the early 2000s. A product called the RCA disc washer was produced later in the 2000s, but it was essentially Chinese made junk. It does not do a good job of getting into the grooves and removing gunk from your records. Which brings us to today. If you look online, you can still find plenty of the original disc washers on eBay and those sorts of sites. They still are plentiful and I recommend you pick one up, but just make sure you get one in the right condition. Which brings us to the mail. I'm going to open up this package Chris sent over and uh, check out the um, this is a disc washer and see, um, see what this particular one is all about. Thanks again, Chris, for sending this. This is awesome. Aha! This is the disc washer brand record. Let me show you get this right. Disc washer brand record care system D4. So I'm going to compare the box to the box I had, and I got the Canadian version of it, so it's partly in French. So they look very similar. Uh, the packaging he sends a little more plain. The one I sent over, the one I had, um, was in uh, English and French. Okay, I love, I love the fact that people kept the original boxes. This is gorgeous. So it's got a little pocket in here, a little hole. That's where you would keep the original uh, D4 record cleaning solution that we talked about. This one says high technology record cleaning fluid, caution, keep out of reach of children, made in the USA. I came with this little brush. And I used the brush to um, clean the uh, pad. This is in beautiful, beautiful condition. I'm gonna pull up the, the groove washer so you can kind of see the difference and the similarities between the two. So this is the disc washer, which is no longer made and it was discontinued this version of it some time ago. This is the groove washer, which I use now. 
and they do look remarkably similar. One of the major differences I talked about this, the, the pad here is directional. So there's an arrow here and this is the part you put forward on your record when you're cleaning it. And it only, the fabric goes in one direction this way. If it goes this way, kind of like patting an animal. If you kind of take your dog and go this way, go with, with his hairs and he kind of likes it. If you go this way against his hairs, he doesn't like it. Same with these brushes. The Groove Washer, it's an excellent brush, but it doesn't have that same fabric. This is not directional. So that's the major difference. So we got this and what do we have here? So here's the original brochure that would have come with the disc washer. So we've got the instructions here. So let's take a close look at these. It says instructions for routine pre-play cleaning. Number one, application. Apply a thin line of D4 plus fluid, three to six drops on the leading edge of the pad. The arrow on the end of the handle points to the leading edge. Distribute the fluid along the leading edge of the pad using several deliberate strokes with the bottom of the D4 plus bottle. Number two, position. Position the disc washer handle pad with the arrow end on the outside edge of the record. Gently contact the record with the damp leading edge of the pad. Number three, allow the damp leading edge to contact the record for about three revolutions. Dry the record with a simple rolling movement of the handle, allowing for the middle and back edge of the pad to contact the album, album for several revolutions, assuring thorough dry. Four, clean the pad using the DC1 pad cleaner. Lightly brush the damp pad in the direction of the arrow on the disc washer handle. Easy enough. Next page here talks about dirtier records and cleaning them off the turntable. But interesting here on the next page, it has additional record cleaning information. First point here, it's a very good point. It says, although alcohol is used as a record cleaner, laboratory tests show it is unsafe since it extracts critical vinyl stabilizers. Number two, many of us know this one here, soaps, silicones, and household detergents leave a coating on the record surface. These coatings actually attract dust, which without removal is ground into the grooves by the stylus. All right, number three, here's another warning. Tap water contains about twice as much dry weight residue as a solution. So it's a warning against using tap water to clean your records. All good information to this day. So as you saw in this demonstration, I used the uh, D4 dishwasher fluid to clean the record. It's a bit risky on my part, I think. I don't know, that's 30 years old. So going forward, I will use this new brush. However, I will continue to use my Groove Washer record cleaning solution. It comes in the spray bottle. I just put a protector on the label so I don't get any spray on there. I spray the playing surface of the record directly. And again, I use the brush in the same way. I've been using the Groove Washer brush and I'll use this disc washer brush again, where you just sort of let the record go around a few times and you rock the brush to help dry it out and there you go. Again, I wanna stress for me anyway, and this is for light cleans. If you have heavily contaminated records, it's best to use another technique. I like to use my spin clean. I like to use my spin clean for records that are much dirtier than this, but uh, for light cleans, as I said, nothing beats the classic disc washer. All right, guys, that is my look at the classic disc washer brush. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Do you use one of these? How do you clean records? We would love to know. Remember, if you enjoyed today's video, to leave a quick thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. Until next time, dear 33ers, keep on spinning.